Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you the Liskov substitution principle. SOLID is an acronym for five called design principles. These principles are used by programmers all over the world as a guide while developing object-oriented applications. The third letter L stands for Liskov substitution principle or LSP. The original definition is quite complicated, but don't be afraid. The principle is quite easy to understand using a practical example. We might simplify this complicated definition to every derived class instance should be able to replace base class instance without breaking the application's logic. Let's see a practical example of risk of substitution principle in C sharp. Here we have two classes, rectangle and square, two fields, height and width. Square derives from the rectangle. The height and width of the square is set to one value inside of the constructor. Inside the main method, I am instantiating a new rectangle. Since square is deriving from the rectangle, it can be assigned to the rectangle. Then I am changing the height to 20. Now the risk of substitution principle is broken. Even though square derives from rectangle, it cannot be a proper replacement for it. Changing the height of it breaks the logic of the application since all sides of, the, of a square must be equal. How can we fix this situation? Now we are using a new abstract class figure. It defines an abstract method getArea which has to be implemented in every class that derives from it. Both classes square and rectangle derive from the figure class. They implement the fields and the method individually. Now inside the main method we can define two figures and assign a square to the first and a rectangle to the second one. Then we can invoke the getArea method. It returns a valid result in both cases. You can use both rectangle and square instances as a replacement of figure and the logic stays valid. I hope that this quick introduction to Liskov substitution principle has helped you and I hope to see you soon.